Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're here in uh, what the Gith have turned into a crash. It was originally a monastery. And these uh, these Gith came in here and eh, they killed the monks. So we're going to kill the Gith now. Which kind of sucks because in the last episode we uh, we took out Savarsh Kathka and uh, his students, and it's kind of a shame that we had to do that because some of his students were actually kind of cool. But uh, guilty by association, I guess. Um, they're gith, and uh, they killed all these monks, so um, these guys need to uh, need to die as well. It's a shame. It really is a shame. We have some leveling up to do. Let's do that real quick. Uh, Fox here, he is going to be level seven now. His health gets increased. He gets a class feature which is a level four spell slot. That's kind of cool. We gained a spell. What spell do I want to give to Fox? Uh, there's one here called Confusion. Confuse a group of creatures, causing them to attack at random, wander, wander around aimlessly, and occasionally skip turns in their stupor. That sounds pretty awesome. We're going to give him that. Shadowheart here. She also gets a uh, level 4 spell slot. And I guess she um, knows these spells now and knows these spells as well. I'm not real sure what's going on here. Uh, but I do want to go in here and prepare spells. And I want to remove Guiding Bolt. I never use this thing. And instead I want to try to get uh, Guardian of Faith. Call forth the Divine Guardian that attacks nearby enemies. Every time it deals damage, the Guardian loses an equal amount of hit points. So it's just another offensive force on the field. Uh, we'll go with that. But um, yeah, I, I don't quite understand the Trickery Domain spells here. Does she just know these now, maybe? Polymorph, uh, transform a creature into a harmless sheep. Interesting. And then it says, if the sheep's hit points drop to zero, the target reverts to its original form with its original hit points. So we can cast this on somebody early and um, thin out the herd before we deal with them. And then we also get uh, Dimension Door, which sounds awesome. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. The ally cannot be larger than medium, which I'm hoping medium means just regular human-sized. Uh, that sounds pretty cool too, but I don't know if this means she just knows these now or what. I don't know. Are they prepared? I don't know. Will, uh, he's also up to level 7. His health is increased. He gains a passive Eldritch Invocation. And I think I'm going to go with Book of Ancient Secrets. You can inscribe magical rituals in your Book of Shadows. Uh, gain the Ray of Sickness, Chromatic Orb, and Silent Spells. You can cast these spells once per long rest. And they don't expend any spell slots when cast. That's kind of cool because um, he doesn't have very many spell slots to begin with as a warlock. So we'll give him that. They'll give him three more spells. We need to choose a spell here. And uh, I'm going to choose Banishment. Check this thing out. Temporarily banish your target to another plane of existence. It lasts for two turns. It's another case where we could like get rid of a tough enemy and not have to worry about them. So uh, I'm going to do that. Finally, we've got Lizelle leveling up here. Her health is increased. Uh, she gets, I think, another superiority die, which is exciting. I think that's what that means. And then uh, gain two pa two passives. We get to choose two of these. I'm going to go with Precision Attack. Uh, you can spend a superiority die to add it to the result to an attack roll. And Pushing Attack... Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage and possibly pushes the target back 4.5 meters. So I'm going to go with that with for her. Okay, everybody's leveled up. Now we're just going to walk around and do some looting. Um, so let's do that here. We've got quite a few people to loot. And then we could also just loot the place itself, like this room here last time we were in here. We couldn't loot it because they wouldn't have liked that very much when they were alive, but now they're dead, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to loot this guy, send this simple robe back onto camp, send another short sword back onto camp, uh, and then we'll pick up that scroll and add it to my huge collection of scrolls. Uh, we've got a youth here again, very sad. Uh, we're going to send all of this stuff just back to camp, and I'll deal with it later. Here is another youth. 
Again, the same stuff. We'll just send all this stuff back onto camp. Mm, let's uh, let's take care of these people out here. Uh, here's another youth. Same old stuff. Just add it to our collection. One of these days I'll go to a vendor merchant and sell all this stuff off. Another youth. No surprise. Same old stuff. I don't know. I guess these guys were all dual wielding short swords. Didn't notice it when I was fighting them. Uh, a couple more. Oh gosh, so many youths. Oh, cut down on their prime. This guy only has one short sword. Or a long sword, actually. Okay. Um, and then there's some elfin wood souls here. Not sure what's up with that. These shoes make light, almost imperceptible clicking noises. As they walk on stone, the wood nice and sculpted. Okay. I mean, I, I guess I'll pick those up. Uh, there's another youth over here. Same old stuff. Send it on back over to camp. Good gravy. Another youth. Wow, there's so many of them. Yeah, I'm not... Not proud of what I've done. But, um... It had to be done. Right? Right? Had to be done? Yeah. That's what I tell myself. Here is a, a wooden barrel that we've already looked in, apparently. And a vase that we have not looked in. Nothing in it. Let's go in this room. We'll, uh, we'll loot Savarsh Uh, He's got some Githyanki half plate here, and he's also got a Githyanki crossbow, which I guess is kind of cool. Um, Lazelle is using I crave blood. Harold. I kind of like Harold, so we'll stick with Harold. Despite everything. So we'll just take this and send it on back to camp as well. Let's go in this room. Whoa, I did not mean to shut those doors. Uh, let's go in this room and uh, look around. See if there's anything that uh, we want to help ourselves to. Bottles. There's a long sword over there. Um... You know, we can pick that up. Fit in my pack. Got some stairs that go up here. Oh, let's like the brazier. I like doing that. It's fun. Get some training dummies here. Anything up here? Not that I see. More training dummies. See, we've got uh, wicker baskets with some rotten chicken eggs. Crate of fruit. Might as well send that on back to camp. Wooden trunk. Nothing in there. Another wooden trunk. And there's nothing in there. Over here we've got a wicker basket with a uh, rotten water Davian cheese wheel. It's not going to help us any. Ooh. Here is uh, notes on Mind Flayer Anatomy. Quite sure we already read this. What have we in here before? A surgery kit. Eh. I don't think we need that. Anything down here that we're interested in? Um, none of these papers we could look at. Can't look at any of these maps. There's really not a whole lot in here, is there? All right, let's go ahead and leave. So, you know, we um, we have this quest where uh, we're supposed to oh give Lizelle time to think. In interesting. Uh, we failed to extract the Mind Flayer parasite and made an any enemy of Queen, Queen Vlacketh. Lazelle needs time to consider the ramifications. Really? That's what we're doing? We're giving time, Lazelle time to think? I didn't realize that. Um, somewhere in here, I thought we had a quest where we were supposed to go inside of that prism thing. But um, I don't see that. Discover the artifact secrets here. Just enter the astral prism 
Yeah, this one. The Inquisitor called the artifact the Astral Prism. We communicated with the Lich Queen Vlacketh, who told us there is someone inside the artifact and that we should kill them. We can combine the artifact with the plane caster to enter it. And and I can do that. And, I, and I've been told that I could go in there and nothing really happens. Uh, but I think one of the real reasons that I decided not to go in was because there's this whole rest of this crash to explore that I haven't explored yet. And I wanted to make sure I explored it before I entered <laughs> some kind of uh, freaking prism thing. Uh, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to continue doing this. Well, don't worry. We'll enter the prism later. I, I don't know how long Lazelle will put up with us. But um, we'll, uh, we'll explore quite a bit here. So uh, I'm going to do a short rest here and hope that that's enough to um, take on uh, let's get going. the uh, what, what remains here. Uh, we know that on the other side of this door... Uh, we can't see him now, but there's a lot of people on the other side of this door. And then we've also got this room over here um, that uh, I can't see anybody in right now. I, lo I love how that's black and white on the other side of that door. Uh, we saw some enemies in there, too. So, buddy, I tell you, I don't know. I am like I, I just said that I want to take out the rest of these um, gith, but I'm nervous because the, I know there's a ton of them in this room. Uh, I'm actually considering breaking my team up here and just having Fox go over and open the door. I don't want my team to just barge into this room. I would rather, if I could, maybe, you know, do a kind of uh, pinch point thing here. You know? Did you really have to climb on top of that to pick that up, Fox? He's just, he just likes to climb around. A, a blood bank? Okay, that's the first time I've seen that, I believe. I don't remember seeing a blood bank. Ed, empty blood bank bottle. What is this stuff? Blood bank. Yeah, it doesn't tell me anything about it. Huh. Interesting. That's this. It's even stranger that it's just sitting in a hallway. Bed roll over here. Okay, Fox. Uh, open this door. And uh, as you can see, holy moly, we've got uh, Gish Umrak here. 53 health, another youth with 22 health, another youth with 22, another youth with 22, an ardent with 28. Uh, uh, this is the healer here. These guys are all enemies now. They're all enemies. They're not friends. We're going to walk in here. We're going to have to fight them. Ugh. So I think um, what I'll do is maybe have Fox cast the... Um, this uh, glyph of warding right here so that they, they'll have to go through it. Uh, although, this is a little, oh, I don't have any level three spell slots left. Crud. I really hate to do a long rest. You know? Since we just did one. But, I mean, there's no, there's no limit to how many long rests we can do, right? I just do, it. let's see. Go to camp and end the day. I mean, I guess we'll just go on back to camp. And we'll just do, I'll just do a real quick long rest here. And, um, that way everybody will get their slots back. Let's see what this does. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I only sent Fox back here. Hold on. Let me go put everybody together. And then we'll go ahead and go on back to camp. Okay. All right. There we go. End the day. So actually, I'll cut this out because uh, I'm going to need to recast all these spells. So I'll cut this out and we'll head on back. Okay, I did all the stuff I wanted to do. I'm back. Uh, you can see here that um, we have summoned Quoth the Raven and uh, Scratch is here. And I think I've given everybody the stuff that I wanted them to have. So we are going to... Uh, I'm going to have Fox just kind of walk over here by himself. No one stopped me yet. Need to find a way forward. And um, if I go into sneak mode, I could see how far these people can see me. They can see into that red right there. So right now they can't see me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast this uh, glyph of warding here. So when they start coming this way, which they probably will, they're going to have to go through that glyph. 
So we'll do that. We'll soften them up here. Um, as far as which one to do, acid worked pretty well on these guys before. I think I'm going to do acid. We'll just put it uh, right here. So there you go. There's acid. <laughs> um, yeah, so we just cast that in there. Uh-huh. And let's see, I've cast acid. I don't... Doesn't look like I have to concentrate on that. It's just just kind of there. I can only have one glyph active at a time, though. So, I mean, what else can I do here? Um, I could maybe bring Will over here. And, I mean, do I banish somebody right off? I don't want to banish anybody before uh, I start my fight. I could have um, Shadowheart come over here as well. Let's have Fox move out of the way. Time to rest. Have him come over here. Moving in. I need to concentrate. And she can come over here and do the same thing. We could have two of these glyphs of warding here to really do all kinds of trouble to these guys. Uh, so why not? We'll ha we'll have acid and we'll do some um, I don't know fire at the same time. Why not? See, how far away can I cast this? Can I cast it all the way here? Can I really? Bleed for me. Oh crap, is she walking forward to cast that? Doggone it. <sighs> well, it wouldn't be a fight if I didn't screw it up somehow. Uh, she just lost her bardic inspiration. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So she's, she's hurting. She's got some gaping wounds. Good lord, I guess I can... Ugh, just always screwing stuff up. Uh, anyway, this person's hurt, and she's hurt, and that's it. That's all that happened. Man. All right, well, let's get this raven in here and see if we can't blind somebody. Uh, we'll have this guy. Is there a difference between dashing and flying? Um, let's have this... Come on, get in here. I mean, you can't reach destination. Oh, I can't get around Shadowheart? Is she blocking the door? Good grief. Seriously? Okay. Can I cancel this? No, I can't. Can I pick her? And she can't move out of the way. Oh, for crying out loud. All right. Uh, um. Good freaking... Really? She's blocking the door. Okay. I don't know, man. This guy's turn. Uh, let's do a counter spell on him. Okay, so I believe that worked. And it is now... Oh, his turn again. Okay, now it's my turn. Shadowheart, get out of the doorway. Will ya? Please? I mean, the point was to try to pull them back. You know... See if I can't do something like that. So we've pulled Shadowheart back. She can, I mean, she can cast Shield of Faith on herself. Um, or I could do the Spiritual Weapon right now, because in case some of, let's do Spiritual Weapon. Uh, we're gonna do um, Great Axe, I guess. Okay, that was a bonus action. So end her turn. And now it's uh, Scratch's turn. Uh, Scratch, why don't you just go ahead and run on in here? This this thing won't... He won't trigger this. I believe. I believe he won't. Okay, so he's in there now. And then it is... Um, Lizelle's turn. We could have Lizelle... Well, she's not going to quite reach. Let's see. Can she shoot anybody from here, ranged? <laughs> They're a long way away, man. Uh, well, not enough movement, it says. So, she she's too far away. She can't shoot anybody. So, interesting. Uh, we'll have to end her turn. Although, I could have her dash... I just want her to get in a position where she's ready to start shooting people through the door. Yeah. Um, 
I could do an action surge here, but we'll just wait till the next turn. No holding back. And then we've got Will here, who I also want to get over here. We'll have him dash and just have him get into a position as well so that he could shoot through the door. And another fight. Let's go. And then the same thing with Fox. We'll have Fox run right up here. Don't slow down. And can you attack anybody, Fox? Can you maybe hypnotize some people, maybe? Holy cow, can I hypnotize all the... Holy cow! Well, I want to try to hypnotize every single person in this room. Oh, wait a minute, this is not enough movement. Doggone it, that's... That's a tease. Not enough movement. Okay. Not enough, okay. Well, can't do that. Um... Can I just shoot at somebody? No, I cannot. So I'm still too far away from everybody, I guess. Yeah, like even like confusion if I wanted to try to do that. Oh, oh, interesting. So I guess I'm close enough to some of these people. Not enough movement there, but I can get to this guy. Will Fox walk into the room to cast this? That's what I want to know. Doesn't look like... Looks like I could get to him. 40% chance of confusion on this guy. Confusion. Confuse a group of creatures. That's weird. Okay. So I confused quite a few of them. Holy cow. Wow. There's quite a few of them confused. Let's see what happens. Concentration. Um, We're going to do counterspell. And you've been counterspelled. Nice try. You're gonna run forward, and the acid went off, and I think it did kill the dog. I think it did. Okay. Confused. Well, not that confused. They were able to dash. Okay. Um. Okay. So <laughs> it's this weapon's turn, uh, but the weapon can't get in there. Uh, but, um, jeez, it's the weapon's turn. I could have the weapon fly. Can I do that? Can it fly in here? Uh -huh. Oh, not enough movement. Okay, then what am I doing here? Fly. I don't know, man. Uh, I guess maybe I got too many people in here or something? Not, not real sure where I'm flying to. Okay, I don't know. Whatever. This person's confused. Oh, shot their own person. Nice. Shot their own person again. That's, that's fun. Running forward. Uh, it's the raven's turn. This raven could go in here. This person is confused, and I kind of hate to bother them. They're confused. Affected entity is hostile to everyone. Wanders around aimlessly and occasionally skips turn, turns in its stupor. It doesn't say anything about me deconfusing it by attacking it. Um, this guy's not confused though, but I can't reach the destination. So this is the only person I could reach. So we may as well go ahead and just attack it. Critical hit. Nice job, Raven. Okay. And now the Raven... If I were to fly... Could I, fl I could fly in this room, but there's, a, there's an attack of opportunity there if I do that. So we'll just... Maybe leave the ra Raven there. Confused. Attacking this poor soul here. Running forward. Uh, it's Will's turn. I'm probably not going to be able to shoot past this raven. I bet I can't. Oh, I can, though. Okay, these people are all confused. This person's got 19. This person's got 28. This person's got 9. Oh, it's his path is interrupted. This one, though. What? What just... What the heck just happened? Did I do anything? I cast Eldritch Blast on this youth... This youth right here. Um, did it do any damage? 
Sure doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. So it's Shadow Heart's turn. Can she get to anybody? Can we shoot over this raven? We can. A 65% chance. Six points of damage. And, um... I mean, I could heal herself a little bit. But I'm not too worried, to tell you the truth. Although I kind of hate to just not do anything. Uh, I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so now it's uh, Lizelle's turn. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get past this. Yeah, let's see. Here. Yeah, I can't get past the raven, so I have to, again, just use my uh, ranged attack. And uh, why not? Missed. Okay. She just lost her bardic inspiration. We'll try to attack this guy again. Okay, now he's got Bane. Okay, we're all just shooting over top of this um, bird here. <laughs> what now? Okay, now it's Fox's turn. And you know, he could do the same thing. We're just gonna, let's just, only 42% chance. Oh, Fox is threatened. Oh, cause this person's standing right here. <laughs> I didn't notice this person standing here. <laughs> I'm shooting over everybody and she's standing right here for crying out loud. Um, she's got 37 health. I mean, uh, oh, geez. I mean, I could do a concentrated blast on her cause I am concentrating on confusion right now. But if I do this, does that does that um, stop me from concentrating? I'm not sure, so I hesitate to do it. Uh, shatter, where'd that come from? Well, let's see here. Um, this requires concentration also, so I need to be careful that I don't cast something else without concentration because then these people in here won't be confused anymore. And that is, right now, that's huge. So, what could I do to her? I mean, I could just simply attack her, but that's not really Fox's strong point. And that'll only do, well, 7 to 15 damage more than I thought, actually. Um, I can't believe I've been shooting at this person this whole time. But, you know, this person does have 6th health. Let's see, when is her turn? Oh, she actually goes after the weapon... So, the most damage... I mean, can I just... That's interesting. It doesn't mention anything about concentration. I have to concentrate to charm somebody? Huh. Charm a humanoid to prevent it from attacking you. Not only 16%. I'm too close. Yeah, I'm too close. So, I think I just have to attack her. Because I'm too close. do it oh wow nice job Fox wow impressive uh, unfortunately that's his turn this guy's turn he's not confused do he just cast hold person whoa. whoa what the heck is going on oh okay um oh geez there was something inside of the box and it was a a Grimishka, okay. Uh, okay, so now... Oh, jeez, what's going on with my team all of a sudden? Wow, how did he get out here? He's only got five health left, though. Uh, Lizelle's held right now. How do I unhold her? Hold person. Um, hmm, wow. Affected entity can't move or take actions, bonus actions or reactions. Attacks against this entity are always critical hits if the attacker was in three minute, three meters. Um, is somebody concentrating on hold person? Is that what's happening? Yeah, he's concentrating. So we need to attack this guy to see if we can't get him to stop concentrating. So I'm going to have the um, this thing just do an attack on him. Ugh, and he missed. Now that sucks. Her turn. Ray of Sickness on Fox, but a critical miss. Oh, let's do... Let's, uh, let's re-roll. Saved on Flourish. Okay. 
This person's confused. They're going to run over and oh, they're going to attack the Gromishka. Uh, critical hit on Quoth. Quoth is dead. Uh, here comes the Gromishka. Oh, okay. She's attacking the Gromishka. Gromishka's going to run over and attack that person. Okay. And um, Gromishka's biting people. Okay. So, unfortunately, it's Will's turn. Not, not. Unfortunately, we skipped Shadowheart's turn because she's held. So I need to attack this jerk here. 25% chance of hitting him. Uh, I guess because we're threatened. Uh, Eldritch Blast. You know, even though the disadvantage is still 72%. Oh, shoot. Um, I still got 9 health. What did I just do? Gosh, man. I cast that on... I, 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 I cast it on Spiritual Weapon instead of him. I, I, uh, I tell you, man. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Frost. Okay. Oh no, this is it's Lizelle who's held, not Shadowheart. Okay. Can Shadowheart do something against this guy to break his concentration? Um, she could shoot him with a fifty percent chance of hitting him. I don't want to do Firebolt because I'm afraid it'll hurt the rest of my team. Um, this here will do three to ten damage. I mean, it could kill him, but a yeah, or we could do a cantrip on him. Um, Sacred Flame. Again, I'm worried that this will hurt my team. I'm just going to shoot him with an arrow. Okay, make sure I'm pointing at the right guy. Oh, good God, and of course I miss. Good grief. Okay. Great. Nothing will stand in my way. Okay, Fox's turn. Fox, can you hit him? Hit him. Um, he's dead. Okay, so she's not held anymore. That's good. Okay, and just in time, too. Uh, we are going to um, see if we can't take her out right now. Um, let's see. Pushing attack. Do I, what kind of attack do I want to do? I've got all these different attacks now. Huh, oh, precision attack. All right. We're just going to do um, menacing attack. She's dead. And uh, now, I mean, do I want Lizelle to go in that room? I don't know if I do. I kind of like this pinch point right here. So let's just have her... Shoot this guy with an arrow. And that guy's dead now. Nice. Good job, Lazelle. And I could do this. Eh. I could... I don't know. I could Misty step into the room. But like I said, I really like this pinch point right here. This person's confused because they'll probably attack this person. And uh, this, oh, we got a Gromishka in here who's actually kind of fighting on our side in a way because he doesn't like these guys either. Although he will fight us when he gets a chance, I'm sure. So I think we just stand here in this doorway and just let things go. Uh, I could have her attack again before this guy gets through the door. Let's just go and do it. Let's do an action search. Well, let's attack him again. Let my name know. Uh, six, that's not good. Try it again. Let's do, um... Let's do... Goading attack ranged. That killed him. He's dead. Nice. It's the weapon's turn. I mean, we could put... We could bring the weapon in there, although it doesn't have enough... Really, range to get in there. Flying... I mean, I guess it would let me get up high, maybe. So, uh, the weapon... Well, I really don't want it to block the doorway. We'll just get it over here in case somebody comes through. They could partake. Okay. Two people running in. They're confused. They're attacking the Gromishka. I would rather them attack each other. Uh, the Gromishka bought the, bit the youth and bit him again. That person, Misty, stepped over there. I didn't see that person. Ooh. Tried to attack. Let's do our lucky reroll. Okay, missile snaring. Okay, nice. Zero zero damage. 
And now we're to... <laughs> Who is this, Will? <laughs> Good grief. Um, uh, let's do... Can I do like a... I mean, I thought that he would have like a... I thought he had fireball. I guess he does have fireball. But it's um, not a cantrip. Yeah, fireball. Let's do this, man. Let's torch everything in the vicinity. 60% chance. Oh, man, that's nasty. Oh, it killed both of them. This person was full health. They had 22 plus extra. Holy cow. Wow, Will. That was nasty. Yikes. Uh, Shadow Heart here. I mean, can she even do anything? 55% chance of hitting this Grimishka. I mean, right now the Grimishka is, a, is you know, kind of like a decoy. Um, because this person may very well fight the Grimishka instead of us, but I'm sure that Grimishka is going to fight us as soon as it can. But I don't think I want to help them out by killing the Grimishka. So, I mean, honestly, what, they just have the Grimishka and one person left? So... I don't think that, um, I don't know. Can she walk right here and then shoot at him? Can she do that? 55% chance. Do this. Oh, she walked through the door. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then uh, I can't get her to back out of the way, unfortunately. So she's going to be in the way, which is too bad. Mm, yeah, I don't think that there's anything that I could do to get her out of the way. Fury. So, so yeah, I could have her walk here, but she's not going to be able to shoot over top of. Yeah, she can't. She can't get in there. Uh, so what I could do is have her Misty step in there. Yeah, man. Nice. Okay, so she's Misty stepped, and now she's just going to wail on her, man. And we may as well use our die, because we're just going to rest again after this. Just do uh, a goading attack. Damn. She dead. And now we need to get this guy. Taste my fury. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Even with all the screw-ups. <laughs> Gosh. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, the amount of screw-ups. All right, let's do some looting. Uh, here's Gish Umarak. This person's got a key. Ooh, an infirmary key. Pick that up. Uh, here is a ring of elemental infusion. Elemental infusion. When you deal acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage using a spell or cantrip, that element infuses your weapon. Until the end of your next turn, you deal an additional 1d4 damage of that element on your first successful weapon attack. The mysterious gem set in this ring seems to change hues whenever you aren't looking. Nice. Uh, we'll pick that up. We'll send this on back to camp. And uh, let's send this longsword on back to camp as well. Uh, I'm going to loot this guy. He's got a sun melon. That's goes back to camp. Well, he also has an infirmary key. Uh, here's an aberration hunter's amulet. A Gith Yankee wearing this amulet has advantage on intelligence saving throws. Aberrations, whatever that is, also have disadvantage on attack rolls against them. I guess aberrations are an enemy. Uh, many a Gith Yankee hunter has worn this amulet before you. The strange stones set in swirling silver reverberate with echoes of their magic. The problem is I think that Lizelle's already wearing a, something on her head. Oh, that's an amulet, not a hat thing, my bad. Uh, send to camp. Send to camp. Um, let's do this. Let's go and, uh, this thing that we just picked up, this amulet right here, we're going to give this to Lizelle. Amulet. Um, I guess, is this something she wears around her neck, I think? Oh, what? Oh, I just put it on Fox. Ugh, okay. Um, oh, Fox did have this thing on. Right, go over here. Put this back. So she's wearing this thing. Gu okay, we can remove this. We don't need her to have guidance. We'll have her put this on instead. Okay. 
Who else can we loot? It's fun looting. We're gonna go in here and loot uh, youth morale. And, you know, these youths, they just have some leather armor and uh, weaponry on them, it would seem. Here's an ardent, might have something interesting. Uh, some sourdough bread, that sounds pretty good. Camp. 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 Gosh, man. I tell ya. I mean, I do feel bad. I'm not sure why I'm picking this stuff up. Like, why am I picking up a practice sword? Uh, here's a raider. This raider, ooh, has all kinds of food. Guess raiders run around with food or something. A lot of food. And then studded leather armor. And then another Gith Yankee crossbow. Um, here's a pouch. Nothing's in it though. Elegant chest. Ooh. We'll pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. We'll pick that up. Here is a large bottle. Okay. Let's see if the Grimishka has anything on it. Uh, Grimishka Kale and a Ruby Ring, strangely enough. Another youth with more crap to send back to camp. Hey, it's future gold. I almost said credits. Wrong game. Okay. Um... Well, it looks like, uh, ooh, dormitory roster, we read that earlier. Here's a wooden barrel we could look in. There's nothing in it. Best be on my way. Oh. Okay, fruit porridge. An elegant chest. A silver ingot. Gold. A backpack, nothing in it. A lavish chair sitting here at this desk. Anything in the desk? Uh, ink pot, I mean, that's worth something. This thing weighs nothing. I mean, it's one gold piece. <laughs> Add it to my junk collection. Here is an elegant chest. Ooh, it has a potion of glorious vaulting and some gold in it. Candles here. Got some beds. Um, some ith bank here that's... Uh... Wow, he's got long arms. He reached all the way over there and picked that up. Did you see that? Got a shovel, which I don't need. I've already got one. Well, I think, uh, we've looted this place. This, um, bedroll, bedroll. It's dark in here. Even with these candles, it's, it's kind of mood lighting, you know? Kind of sets the tone. Over here... Yeah, not seeing anything to loot. Here's a uh, nice wooden chest. Inside, bunch of gold. Fine with that. More bed rolls, and then straight ahead into this room is um where their uh, doctor is was. <laughs> Alright, we'll loot this room in the next episode. Uh, and then probably we'll rest up again just to make sure that we're in tip-top shape. And then we will go... I probably can't get over there now. Yeah, we'll go into this room and we'll clear it out. That's what we'll do. It's fun clearing out Gith Yankee. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, even though I keep screwing up my uh, battles, I still keep winning. And uh, I'm okay with that. I'm cool with it. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.